This is the moment that I knew I wanted to be a composer. I think I was 19. Uh, in the mid-70s, I was going to college at the University of California at Davis, and my brother was uh, 10 years older than me, living and working in nearby Sacramento. And we'd get together regularly and smoke weed and drive around in his car listening to music on his state-of-the-art cassette deck. And we'd normally listen to the, th the things that were my mother tongue, blues and prog rock and, and blues-based rock. Uh, and he decided to, you know, to surprise me. I think we were really stoned at the time. And he put in uh, Beethoven's last string quartet, uh, Opus 135, number 16. And it, you know, started playing where he'd left off, which is what cassettes do. And it started playing on the second movement. And uh, it's a scherzo. And it just, it blew my mind. That, that movement has this kind of sing-songy melody, and then it's interrupted by this uh, E-flat. So I, I, you could say that my, my life was changed by a single note, that E-flat. And, you know, to, to refresh your memory, it sort of goes, um, uh, Mi, re, do, re, mi, re, do, re, do, te, 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 te. Then it goes back to the beginning. It, it's, it's more than interruptive, it's, it shatters the music, you know, it's got this sing-songy, triple meter, and then all of a sudden everything collapses, and it gets back to where it started, but you can never trust that, ba -di -da -dum -di. you can't trust that sing-songy melody again, because that E-flat has cast a shadow over everything, and I remember when I first heard it, I laughed out loud, and I, I just put it, no way, we just you know, rewind, play it again. No way. Could not believe that that uh, a note could be so powerful. So for me as a blues guitar player, I was, you know, in search of the right, wrong notes, to use a phrase by Thelonious Monk. And that was the biggest, baddest, gnarliest, bluest note that I'd ever heard. A lot of that had to do with the rhythm. But also as a prog rock fan, um, you know, I was always kind of in search of, of fringe experiences, and that just seemed like the most psychedelic, trippiest rock music I'd ever heard. And I'd never heard classical music, so it was all rock and roll to me. And it just like, I could not stop listening to it. And um, when I got back to college, I enrolled myself in a, a music uh, history survey and heard more music. And, you know, that was, that was it. I, did, I never turned back. I became a composer. ¶¶